Hey guys, it's Takeify, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Android 5.1, um, a version that's only available on the Nexus devices officially, and this is a cool ROM called Omni. Um, so here it is, Android 5.1, a uh, nice old lollipop. Well, it's not old. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice ROM, run fine for me so far with not many bugs. Um, obviously with every ROM it has bugs, it's never going to be as polished as a stock ROM. So, yeah, you're going to have to have Twerp installed and this is the Kindle Fire HD 2012 model. So, well, let's get into this. <laughs> So guys, um, to install this ROM, you're obviously going to have to boot into Team Win Recovery Project. I'm on um, 2.8.3.0 as the version, however that is totally irrelevant, this will work just the same. So as always, make sure you have a backup made, um, so if anything goes wrong you're able to restore it. I don't, but I've got one on my computer saved, and I'm fine with it anyway, because I, yeah... Anyway, so as always, we're going to want to wipe after downloading the files um, in the description. So, yep, wipe standard factory reset. This should take a couple of seconds, so I most likely won't pause the video. However, if I do seem to think, no, I was right, it only took a second. So, then you want to install the things you've downloaded. So, you'll have the Omni 5.1. Um, Tate Homemade .zip, so that's our ROM. Update Super SU, which um, make sure we've got root access and the G Apps 5.0. I know we're on 5.1, but trust me, the G Apps 5.0 will be fine. So um, you can press Add More Zips and add the others. However, I find it more reliable just to flash them separately. So I'm going to swipe to confirm this flash. And this should take a while because we are installing a ROM. So I will be back in a moment when we are done. So guys, this is done. So we're just going to go home and install our next file. So this is going to be our G apps. Um, this is basically the Google Play Store and the ability to sign into your Google account. So we're going to need this. And as you can see, it is very quick. So, once again, I don't think I need to stop the video. Um, yeah, so like I said, Google Apps, the ability to sign into a Google account is quite important. Your device will still boot and work and everything if these aren't installed, but I'd recommend making sure they are. Sometimes these can fail if the download is a bit corrupted, so you might have to restore backup and do that, or obviously boot your device up, download them again because you can flash these at any time so go home and finally just flash our update super su or super su um, and you will be able to have root I believe so that was obviously really quick and now we can just tap reboot system and we should be begin booting up into android 5.0 no, 5.1, sorry, this is, an, like I said, the Omni-ROM. It's got quite a cool boot animation. Um, as you know, ROMs can take a while to boot up on their first time. However, um, I'll, after about five minutes, just hold the power button until it goes off and try again because it's quite possible it's got a boot loop because that can sometimes happen when you first install a ROM. So here's the cool omni rom little boot animation so i will be back when this is booted up so guys we are booted up i did get stuck in the boot loop like i said and had to hold the power button for some reason that happens to me every time i install a rom even if it's stock kindle fire um don't know if that happens to everybody or just me but anyway so once again i'll have to stop the video because it's saying android is starting optimizing app 15 of 40 so this can um, take a while so as always I'll be back in a moment so guys that's finished it did take a few minutes so I'm now greeted on the setup screen of Android 5.1 so I'll be back once I'm set up 
don't know what that was, but okay, I'll be back when I'm set up. So guys, setup's all done, and as you can see, it's all on. If we go into settings, there is a number of things, as well as Super SU, meaning we have root access, as well as this performance tab. Oh, wait. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so actually this has decided it wants to install some things. No, thanks. But yeah, so there is also this performance tab which will allow you a built-in overclock of your CPU. I did try this out before and it meant the device froze up a lot. So I, and actually you had to shut it off. So I wouldn't do that. But here we go, Android 5.1 for the Amazon Tate. If I tap this, get our nice lollipop. And of course our flappy bird. This feels a bit laggy, don't know why. But anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos. I'll put a link on how to install Team in Recovery Project as well as um, root your device and all that great stuff in the description. Also, if you don't like this ROM, I have another Lollipop ROM on um, just 5.0.2. So I'll also have a link for that. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Techify. See you guys in the next video.